Well, an Omaha man pushing to provide opportunities for low-income youth is working to start a program to protect them. But he can't do it alone, so he's taking a unique route looking for help. Ian Garrett has seen poverty and violence firsthand. My own father was killed. My own father was a victim of um, gun violence. But he didn't let it get the better of him. He persevered, eventually getting his law degree from UNL. Still, he knows his native North Omaha struggles with the same issues. For some reason, violence here in the city of Omaha, in particular the Northeast sector, is stubbornly persistent. So he's stepping up to protect at risk youth with what's called a social impact bond, or SIB. It is a contract with the public sector in which a commitment is made to pay for improved social outcomes that result in public sector savings. His plan? Invest in 80 low-income youth over the course of three years. The goal being to keep them out of special education classes and the criminal justice system which Garrett says would save taxpayers roughly $8 million. He says North Omaha's youth already have the resilience to thrive in the real world. They just need to harness it for good. As opposed to going on the corner and being a street pharmacist, these individuals could learn to take that same type of mindset and apply it in other ways that are productive and that will add value to society. The total cost of the SIB would be $3.9 million. Ian Garrett says they've already raised 2.4 million of that, so today they launched a six-month crowdfunding campaign to get the additional 1.5 million. Garrett says success of the program would make it sustainable for years to come, but the program will not be set in motion until the funding goal is reached. Kyle Gravlin, KETV News Watch 7. Infinite Eights Institute is also looking for volunteers for their violence prevention initiative. You can learn more about that at omahasib.com. We've linked to that site, so you can just check out this story if you go to KETV.com.